Okay, this is for lesson 48. And these are primary and major triads, okay? So now we're gonna try to, we're gonna figure out how you create a major triad, okay? So it shows you here at the very top of the page, a major triad is made up, here's the way I like to do it, because I think it makes the most sense. Of course, start with C as your root, okay? So what we're gonna create here is a major triad by making sure between C and E is a major. So in the key of C, E is natural. That puts me right where I wanna be, so I'm a major third. Then go from your E to your G, and this should be a minor. And in the key of E, G should be sharp, but it's not here, and that's what we want. So it's a minor, or I'm sorry, major third on the bottom and a minor third on the top creates a major triad. You can also do it how it mentions it in the book, by a major third and a perfect fifth. If that, from the bottom to the fifth. If that works better for you, that's great. For me, that doesn't work as well, so I think this one works way better. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see that in all of our music making, you're gonna hear the one, four, and the five chord an awful lot in almost every song, pop song, country song, one, four, and five, and I'll play them um, in, the vo in the little memo or the voice memo that I'll also create, and you'll hear that those are major, automatically major triads. You don't have to do anything when you're in a major key to one, four, or five. Okay, so when you're looking here, let's do this one right here in the bottom. It's in C major in the bass clef, okay? So right here, C major. Okay, so I know I'm in the key of C, right? And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one. So right here, your one chord is gonna be this, and you don't have to do anything to it because it's automatically a major. But now I need to make sure I name it. So it's gonna be C major. Now, when I go to the four, skip two and three. Those have different qualities in a major scale. So we're gonna skip right to four, but I have to count up four scale degrees. I have to start on the fourth scale degree. So one, two, three, four, it's F. So I'm gonna go right here to F, F, A, C. I've gotta name it, so F major. Now I go to my five, okay? And my five, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna count up five scale degrees. So if I was right here on four, I know that my five is G. I can also cheat and know that my fifth scale degree, or my fifth right here, my one third and fifth is also my fifth scale degree. So I'm gonna build my five chord on that, and that's just a G major. You can also just do C, F, and G. If they're capital, you know they're major. That's another easy way to do it. Now, when I was in school, we would also do this one again, and we bring it down the octave. But don't worry about that, you don't have to do that here. So it shows you again the same thing in treble clef. Now the examples on the bottom get a little harder because they are in different keys. So see what you can do. You're gonna wanna start on the one chord. It gives you the four and five root. You just have to build it and then name it, okay? Then on the bottom though, you do have to build them all and you have to think of what key you're in and make sure that one chord is that key, okay? All right, ready, set, go with those. 